another one of a kind review. That was a weird noise. Anyways, uh, today we have a one of a kind review. Um, yeah, we'll be reviewing hex bugs. And if you don't know what a hex bug nano is, now this isn't gonna be like a toy line review or anything, or like a full collector review. I don't know what I'm getting into. I've only gotten one blaze set so far. And uh, yeah, I only have a couple of hex bugs that came with that. So if you wanna hear a toy line review and all that scientific stuff, go check out Jack Cuso. Uh, he released a video. Just search, or just search up Hexbug Toy Line Review and look at the one that just says Jack Cuso on it. He is a very good YouTuber. He usually looks at Bakugan stuff, but hey, he looks at Hexbug. Anyways, if you don't know what a Hexbug Nano is, it is mostly called a bristle part. <laughs> bristle part. This kind of body robot is called a bristle bot to smart nerds like me. <laughs> you can tell because I use Android. Uh, anyways, uh, this is a Hexbug Nano. A vibrating hard body robot that vibrates around and it has a little vibration motor in there. You can't see it, but it like spins. And it makes a noise, kind of like a phone vibrator or a tactic engine if you're an Apple thing. Anyways. Uh, is this vibrating hard body robot and innovation first it says it on the bug at the bottom you can't see it, it says IFI for innovation first decided to streamline the design and make them in cool designs and fun colors <laughs> Wow fun colors like blue and purple and <laughs> It, oh no wait this is this is for another part of the oh spoilers oh, okay all right all right spoilers uh <laughs> anyways it the angle it has six angled bristles six on each side which makes 12 and the hard body robot it bounces up and down as it moves and it the angle legs pushes it forward so if i bang the table enough it will to hold the camera, sorry. Babe, see how it's jumping forward a little bit? Yeah, that's what hex bugs do. And the persistency in the legs and the motor sends it buzzing off in random di different directions. And oh my sweet goodness, it looks like a bug. Like this really does look like a bug skittering around enjoying his life like look it literally looks like a bug like that is so cool i love it so if you're thinking i'm new to hexbug i technically am not i'm not new to hexbug because i've seen a okay you know what no no anyways oh no anyways yeah like i was saying uh I technically am not used to Hexbug, but at the same time I am used to Hexbug because I've seen a lot of reviews on the little on these little guys and I was like, you know what? I really want those, but then again, I was like 4 years old and I knew I would never get them. They Wait, was I 4 years old? No, I was 4 years old in 2015. I think it was like when I was like either 3 or 4 when I figured out about Hexbugs. I'm not sure. But I've always wanted one of these little things. I've always wanted it. it oh, it hopped. Ah, it almost. Oh, it hopped. But, uh, they're, they're just so cool looking, and I love them. It's... It's stuck, all right. Yes, so this, and also it can flip over sometimes. Wait for it. Well, sometimes it'll just flip over on its own. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. It doesn't always like to do it. It does it after a certain amount of 
grotesque jiggling. <laughs> I'm not lying. The, as you saw, that that's all it does pretty much. So, these are awesome. Like, now after this, you will now understand the magic of this toy line or wonder what it even does. Because just like me, I don't know what you do. You don't play with the hex books. Not in the same way as you play with an RC car or an action figure where the toy is an extension of your body. These are automatons, which means they like they just work on their own. You design their habitat, let them go free, and simply observe. What is so cool of that? I don't know. But honestly, you would expect them to work flawlessly, right? Well, they don't. So they are just chaotic, and you sometimes you just have to intercede little points of the time. Yeah, they do get up sometimes, but most of the time they're just do that, and then sometimes you gotta help it up. And then also you. Like, I don't know, but like, wait, what was I gonna say? Oh no, I forgot! Anyways, they're like, they're just chaotic, and sometimes they do flip over by themselves, but sometimes you have to, like, flip them over by yourself. The tracks are just wide enough for in he two hex bugs to weave in and out in each other, but sometimes they get stuck, and then it causes a traffic jam and you have to help them out. And, and sometimes they just get stuck. Genuinely, they just get stuck on random platforms. I don't know why they do it, but they do it. So, you, I love the fact, the way Innovation First designed these little guys is so cool. It's like the perfect combination, just like Jack Cuso said, it's just the perfect combination of cute and cool looking because like, Look at this design, it looks so cool. Like, I love the two-tone finish with the rubber and then the clear plastic. It's just such an amazing design. And their little feet are so adorable. Like, I expected this to be bigger, but it's tiny. It's so small. So yeah, they just run around. Oh, he's gonna fall. Oh no! Honestly, I can't. <laughs> Honestly, if they flip over, I kind of just don't wait. I kind of just, yeah, I just help them out. You. <laughs> oh no! You're going with your spoilers. Get, get out of here. Spoilers. Ooh. We'll get to them in a minute. Well, this is like basically a toy line review, but basically not a toy line review because I know these released in 2011. Well, the original ones, these are like new colors. They came with uh, more spoilers. I'm not gonna tell you them. I'm not, nope. I'm not doing it. Okay, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So, uh, yeah. But look at this. Look at this. At first, I thought my hex bugs were damaged from being in the package, but no. Look, it's just because my first hex bug wasn't a reg a reg the regular a regular hex bug nano. Now I'm gonna start introducing you to just I'm just gonna show you the front of it, okay? There, there, that it looks like that. Yeah, I'm you're gonna have to wait for it. I know. I know some kind, I don't know when other spoilers came out, but I know the one that I just showed you the front of came out in year three. And if you're a genuine expert collector, you probably know what they are. So uh, yeah, let's just stick with these. They came out in, oh, they came out in some other colors too. They came out in, well, this came with the, either the year two or year three, I don't know. Flash Nanos, we'll get to them in a minute. But they also came out with new Orbit colors, 
which is, yeah, that blue one that is right here, that blue one is new, this purpley, purple one, and, what? yeah, oh, yeah, by the way, the, the, I only have four nanos, like, from, like, 2011, or whenever the Hexbug playset came out, but I have Nanotopia playset. From the crit toy line, which has gone in a very colorful direction. But, uh, yeah, this is all I have. These four little doodlers right here. They look really nice. I like them. <laughs> okay, let's stop torturing these and just, let's, let's just get to the next ones. So, so the next one, I think... I think this is the next one before year three. I'm not sure. But, uh, the. No. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ready, ready. Hear it? Whoa! It's so fast! Wait for it, wait for it. The Flash Nano. Why do they call them Flash? It's because they have a little LED here. And, uh, as you can tell, they're much faster. Quite a bit faster. They like to go offset. <laughs> it gets so close to the camera. But yeah, I have a couple of these as well. So we got... They're longer as well, and they're quite a bit faster. Now these aren't made of rubber. They're like made of hard plastic. They still have that two-tone finish, but on, like, the second tone, like, right here, and not the clear plastic, it's, like, made of, like, not rubber, but plastic. See, like, on these, they have rubbery legs. See that? Super rubbery, good-looking legs. And these have, like, plastic legs. Like, listen. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty plastic legs, and they have two they run on two little lr44 size batteries have a bigger motor and uh the switch is actually in the back now instead of on the bottom so you turn it on from the back now and then they zip Woo it came in a couple other colors too like the black the the, the blue May. they also made a couple other colors like Orange and red. And yes, these. This one has a red LED in it. I don't know if you picked up on that. And then you, this one has an orange LED in it. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. See, these ones are like. Wait. Oh, that. There we go. Finally caught it on camera. One of these actually flipped over by themselves. So yeah, they're really powerful, and they're a lot of fun. Like they're super powerful and super duper nice. So yeah, and then in year three, I actually, this is my first textbook. I got it very recently. It was in the year three. It was so, so cool looking. And I was just like, a dream has come true that I've wanted these for so long, so I couldn't let down on it. It was the year three Hexbug V2. This is serious. Yeah, it's a Hexbug V2. Yeah, the bristles on their back. I thought, whoa! I thought regular Hexbugs didn't have bristles on their back. Yeah, so I did a little more research and I got the year three one, so yeah. The, so yeah, I had the year three Nano V2 and comparing it to Nano V1, they look quite a bit different. Obviously, you can tell there's more legs on this one than this one. And uh, this one has the year three bristles on its back, so yeah. So yeah. And yeah, like I was saying, I thought these were gonna be way bigger because they looked huge on camera on the YouTube videos I watched, but th th they're tiny. <laughs> they look huge on camera, but I do not have big hands. Like, if you put a max to my face, I do not have big hands, okay? I, I don't. Hexbug. 
Look at how tiny that is. Compare that to my head. <laughs> you can barely even see it. It's on top of my head. Now it is all Dorothy and Sari! Oh yeah, I named them. <laughs> Can climb vertically. Vertic vertically? Is that how you say that? <laughs> Through tubes. You can also use it when they're upside down. <laughs> it's not very accurate. And no, not, no, not. Look, like here's upside down. Here's fast. It's quite a bit faster when it's right. <laughs> No, get the, get, get. No, get. <laughs> get, get. No, no, get. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let me uh show you that the uh, set that I got and what you can do with the hex bugs. It was just, no. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Get. Yeah, I feel fine. Get. Hit. Out of here. No, no. Yeah. Okay, so since hex bugs work on a hard surface, you really don't need the play sets. You just need like a tray or something or something that you bring food to, like this festive cookie tray or something else in that range. Let me angle this down a little bit. And then all you need to do is, you know, you just put your hex bugs in it. I'm going to start off with my first hex bug. And it'll play around. Look at that. Because they don't need a carpet. They don't need, like, a playset to work. You can just do whatever you want. And then... Sorry, I burped. So, then you can start adding some obstacles like, uh, uh, this is gonna be cringy. Dead trend. And look, the hex bug will interact with the dead trend. It's safe to say that, right? Yeah, it's safe. Who cares? We can add some more dead trends down. Oh, look. Two dead trends combined to make an even more dead trend. Let's dead that right there, just like that. So you got to make sure you angle it perfectly, just enough for the hex bug to get through. So you kind of want them, like, right there. Let's see. Can our hex... Yeah, our hex bug does it for one. So yeah, then you can have some fun. And you see how the hex bug's playing around and stuff. It's making the dead trend spin. And then you can start having more fun with adding multiple. So here's another one. And, oh yeah, let's get another one in there. Yeah. Okay, fine, let's add more. Oh my goodness. Look at all those hex bugs. Uh, yeah, I have more. By that, I just mean one more and then the flash nanos, which I have right here. Don't forget about the red. The red's gotta be on camera. So you can, I, I mean, if you really want to, yes, you can kind of just, Oh my goodness, they're so fast. They are aggressive. Oh, oh, come here. 
come here. Th thank you. So, uh, yeah. Then you can have some real fun when you put obstacles on a tray. And before I got the playset that came with more Xbox, I had plenty of fun doing this. With this exact cookie tray and dead trains as well. In this exact kind of format. It also had a little ball in there. I don't know where that went. Uh, it was a little bouncy ball. I don't know where I put that. Somewhere. Oh, I know where that's at. Never mind, I found the ball. Okay, so I didn't find the ball I was looking for, but I found a different one, so we can just plop that in there. So, oh, what is going on? Send them in different directions. Yeah, now we're starting to have some fun with the ball. Look at all that. Now that, right there, seems like a lot of fun. Just seeing a bunch of head spugs just running around freely just makes me so happy. And they're actually strong enough when, with time, they'll actually move the dead chains. Okay, fine, I'll call them fidget spinners. No, I'm just kidding, I'm wrong. Dead chains. They can actually move the dead chains around, which is kind of crazy because they're just little bugs. But look at them. A lot of them are bunching up, so we're just going to... You can hear the little nose tap onto the side. It's super cute. I enjoy it. And then we can remove all of these nanos. <sighs> Turning off every nano. And then add in our flash nano. Now we're having some fun. Oh! <laughs> it's like the regular nanos are like your average SUV, and the 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 flash nanos are like your sports car. slightly faster than V1s. Be aware of that. Wow. Okay, that's a little loud. Let's just stop that. Let me show you what you can build when you get a little set and see what the x can do. Alrighty, so those flash nanas are a bit aggressive in this tiny little enclosure. Let me build another one out of my uh, uh, actual enclosure. And yes, I do actually have a habitat. Right now, you are seeing a wild Brighton put together a hex bug, hex bug, hex bug habitat with the Nanotopia playset pieces that he has. Okay, so this is what you can build with a uh, with the pieces that you just have lying around. I just built this with my Hexbug Nanotopia pieces because my Nanotopia is a set. It is a part right now and it's just in pieces. And I noticed it looks like a face. How beautiful. Especially from this ominous angle you're getting on it. Anyways, let's put the bugs in. Oh yeah, by the way, these little things right here are called hex bug car washes. Your hex bug goes under them and then it gets a nice little wash. Anyways, let's turn the bugs on. First hex bug always has to go first since this is like the first ever thing I've ever gotten when I go into hex bug. I'll set it in there. You see, they run through it just fine. They're happy. Next, let's put another hex bug in, the purple one. And then let's let's just kind of get a little crazy here and just uh, just just throw them in all at once. See, look, they're just wide enough to fit through the track, like I said earlier. But sometimes they do get stuck. Ooh, look at all those bugs! And then we can get kind of silly, and then uh. Oh no, this is not gonna end me out good. Meow. Woo! This X-Bug got knocked 
knocked over. Wait, oh my goodness! Did you guys see that? That was minus 10 HP! You, you, you mean! No, 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 you deserve to get out. That's rude. Just flew off the edge of the counter. Huh. That was weird. But yeah, you can just put together a little thing if you have your head place it apart, like I do here. Draw on little baggies. Look at this beautiful. Oh yeah, that's all. That's all playset parts. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. See? Like, they just like to somewhat die. Ooh, the purple one went through the hex bug car wash. Oh, there goes the my first hex bug going through this car wash right here. Yeah, so very nice little toy. I really recommend these little guys because they're like pets that can't die because they're like robots. Anyways, uh, this is just, this is Bright and Light Girl with you, and I'll see you. Peace! Oh no! Again, so that's going to end it for this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share with a friend if you have any, unlike me. And, uh... <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye. Time to take this apart now. Okay. Let's let's start. Now we're done with the main disassembly. Now let's get on to the track disassembly. Actually, I can't do the main assembly, so skip. I have to put all these pieces in the bags. I have food, and I don't want it to get cold. Time to take up all of these pieces one by one. I hate running up and down these stairs. I can carry up the small bags in one hand, though. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Like an extra 1 minute and 13 seconds of content? Worth it. Subscribe.